Okay, so let's take a look at this question. D is a disk of radius 3 centered at the origin in the UV plane, where R of U and V is AU, BV, 7, where A and B are just non-zero constants. And part A asks, asks us to calculate the area element DS in terms of U, V, DU, and DV. Well, we can remember that to calculate the area element, we need to look at the partial derivatives of R with respect to U and V. So let's start by doing the partial derivative with respect to U. Well, AU is just going to become A. BV is going to be treated like a constant, so the partial derivative with respect to U is 0. And the same thing will happen for 7. Now let's find the partial derivative with respect to V. Well, like before, AU will be treated as a constant, so its partial derivative will be 0. BV will become B. And 7 will become 0. So we want to take the cross product of those two vectors to get our area element. So I'm going to do it um, with a matrix. So I have i, j, and k on the top row. Then I'm going to have the partial derivative with respect to u, and then the partial derivative with respect to v. Right? OK, so let's look at i first. So cover this column, and I'm taking the determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix. So 0 minus 0. OK, now let's do j. This time I'm going to ignore the middle column, and I'm going to be taking the determinant of the 2 by 2 matrix a0, 0, 0, 0. So I'm actually going to get 0 again. A times 0 is 0, minus 0. Now let's look at K. So I'm going to cover up that third column, and I'm going to have AB minus 0. Now I need to take the magnitude of this vector. So remember, it's kind of like the distance formula. So I'm going to have the square root of each of the terms squared, which ends up just being the square root of A squared, B squared. which is just the absolute value of a times b. So our area element, ds, is going to be that magnitude times du and dv. So that's my answer for part a. Let's move on to part b. So B asks us to set up the appropriate double integral for the area of the corresponding surface. Well, to find surface area, we're going to integrate ds over the region. So I know the function that I'm integrating is going to be the ds I calculated in part a, the absolute value of ab times du dv. And now I need to set up bounds of integration that will match my region. So let's recall that the region is a disk of radius 3 centered at the origin in the UV plane. OK, so this is my disk. So now I need to just set up my bounds of integration. And this would actually be better to do in cylindrical coordinates, where I have r, theta, and z, which we're not really working with here. So kind of more like polar coordinates. Well, I know that my theta is going to go from 0 to 2 pi, because the circle goes all the way around. OK, 
And then for r, I know the radius of my disk is 3, so r is going to go from 0 to 3. Okay, let me set this up. Okay, so I put my bounds of integration in, but I need to change the variables that I'm integrating with respect to. So du and dv, which I can think of as like dA, needs to change into cylindrical or polar coordinates. And I remember that dA in cylindrical polar coordinates is r dr d theta. So let me substitute that out. Okay, so this is my integral. So that answers part B. And then C asked me to actually calculate that surface area. So do this integral. First, I'm going to pull out that absolute value of AB to be a constant multiplied by the integral, just because it is a constant, and then I don't have to worry about it. Okay, and now I'm going to integrate r with respect to r. So I'm going to get 1 half r squared. I'm going to pull that 1 half out with the absolute value of ab. Okay, and now I want to evaluate this from r equals 0 to r equals 3. Let's go ahead and plug that in. Well, when I plug in r equals 3, I'm going to get 9. And then when I plug in r equals 0, I'm going to get 0. Okay, now I'm ready to integrate with respect to theta. But first, let me go ahead and pull that 9 out. So I got 9 halves out front, and then I'm just integrating d theta. And that's really easy, because I'm just going to get theta. Now I'm going to evaluate this from theta equals 0 to theta equals 2 pi. So let's go ahead and plug in 2 pi. And then when I plug in 0, I can see that the whole term drops out. So this is all I have for the answer to my integral. Let me go ahead and cancel out those 2s. And I get that the surface area of my region is 9 pi times the absolute value of AB.